cut it straight away. In the sea of chaos, Su Mo is going to cut this huge chaos stone open. For other chaos stones, you can wait for the ones out of the sea of chaos before opening the blind box. This big one, cut it first. Chaos insect is here. Through the success rate system, Su Mo accurately found the location of the chaos insect. Then, Su Mo took out an artifact and cut it. The chaos worm was cut to one side. The chaos worm was still trapped inside and did not escape. Su Mo continued to cut. Soon, he cut out the space law fragment. When this space law fragment was blocked in the chaos stone, its volume expanded considerably. Inside this chaos stone, a huge space was even born from it. Su Mo found that this space is filled with a lot of chaotic energy and space energy. With the right hand of God, Su Mo extracted these chaotic energy and space energy. Then, he looked at this space law fragment. This fragment gave Su Mo the feeling that the laws of space contained in it were probably not much more common. At this time, Su Mo felt that his bloodline was deep in, and there was a strong desire. The desire is too strong. So strong that Su Mo had a feeling of swallowing this piece of space law right away. So, Su Mo swallowed this space law fragment. As soon as it was swallowed, Su Mo felt that the space law fragment had entered the succubus bloodline. I'm going, it's too risky, Su Mo feels impulsive. Such a law fragment, even if it is obtained by other law powerhouses, it is impossible to swallow it directly. This is suicide. The best way is to use the chaos stone to slowly comprehend and digest the fragments of this law. It must also be a fragment of the law that suits you. Although every law strong, can dabble more, but the profession has specialization. It is the best choice to choose a road and keep going that way. Get in touch with every law, if it's just a simple study, it's nothing. If you want to go to the depths, it will be difficult. These laws interfere with each other. Not to mention, to drive the power of these laws, you must have a corresponding, sufficiently advanced divine power. And a sufficiently advanced divine power requires a long period of accumulation. If you distract yourself, the likely result is that you can do everything and everything. There are also some extremely amazing and talented gods who can master two or more laws at the same time, and can master them very well. There is no such god. Su Mo's current behavior, among other gods, is suicide. But soon, Su Mo let go of his worries. His succubus bloodline has indeed evolved to a very high level. After the space law fragments are swallowed, they are being digested rapidly, and then. Su Mo felt that his wings were changing, he was in no hurry. Patiently waited. At this time, he should not mobilize too much power. So hungry. In the process, Su Mo suddenly felt hungry. But not hungry for lack of food, rather, it takes energy. Not ordinary energy, but space energy. As it happens, Su Mo has gained a lot of space energy. He absorbed all the space energy. As soon as it is absorbed, these space energies enter his wings. I don't feel so hungry anymore. So, Su Mo waited here for three days. Three days passed, and finally, all the changes were completed. Su Mo's back, the pair of wings, has also undergone earth shaking changes. With a flap of his wings, he appeared in a faraway place. Another fan, and disappeared in an instant, appearing in another place. Wings of the Void. Su Mo whispers. After this law fragment was integrated into the succubus bloodline, it was integrated into his wings by the succubus bloodline. Turn this wing into a void wing, capable of very fast space shuttles. You know, this is the sea of chaos. If it is outside, the shuttle of Su Mo's void wings is very scary. In the past, in a place where the space was fragile, he could achieve a similar effect with absolute strength. But not as powerful as void wings. Now Su Mo, from the abyss to the continent of the gods, I am afraid there is no need to find a special channel. Not only that. Su Mo naturally has a high degree of control over the laws of space. Through void wing, he can also exert some powerful space skills. For example, if Su Mo keeps flapping its wings, it can unleash a terrifying space storm. Now, without relying on the power of light and darkness, he can be regarded as an authentic law powerhouse. He didn't know how high the sacred succubus bloodline was, and he also began to show an extremely powerful side. Doesn't this mean that if there are law fragments in the future, I don't need to comprehend it myself, I can just integrate into the bloodline? Su Mo thought. If so, it is very good. Integrate into the bloodline and let the bloodline turn it into its own skill while improving law mastery. That is very powerful. The feeling of opening is really cool. His sacred succubus bloodline is also an extremely buggy hang.
However, this bloodline is not advanced at first. Su Mo spent a lot of time upgrading. This is equivalent to that Su Mo got a bronze level gold finger at the beginning, and as a result, there is no other protagonist or villain to kill him. He can only find a way by himself. Otherwise, Su Mo's strength will be even more terrifying in the 20 years that have passed in advance. This wave of harvest can be described as very large. Looking at the time, three days have passed. After Su Mo put away everything else, he took out the blood witch's hair. Soon, these hairs formed a little blood witch. Sister witch, you seem very haggard. Seeing the little blood witch, Su Mo said. The blood witch glanced at Su Mo resentfully, and said, Where have you been, brother? The nightmare lord doesn't know where to go. Those guys in the heavens are chasing and killing us everywhere. If this continues, this sea of chaos, I'm afraid I won't be able to stay any longer. Hearing the blood witch's words, Su Mo knew that the Lord of Storms really took advantage of the Lord of Nightmare to be injured by her. I am ready to drive the demon god in the abyss out of the Sea of Chaos in one fell swoop. Then, this trip to the heaven can monopolize the Sea of Chaos and expand the harvest. Of course, the Lord of the Storm would not know that the biggest gain had already been obtained by Su Mo. Can't Sister Witch beat the Lord of the Storm? Su Mo looked at the Blood Witch and said, Hey, the Lord of the Storm is the Lord of Power. My sister can escape from her, but she can't fight it. The blood witch did not hide this at all. What about the witch sister? Su Mo asked. The blood witch's scarlet eyes turned, revealing a hint of evil. Sister is the master who never suffers, even if the Lord of Storms drives her out, this time is not over, and they don't even think about exploring in the Sea of Chaos. Oh? Is it possible that the witch sister is preparing to attack the kingdom of the Lord of the Storm? Su Mo instantly guessed what the blood witch was thinking. The blood witch, he he, smiled, as expected of my man, sister, I can't hide anything from you. Sure enough. The demon god is sure to be rewarded by Jairus. Even if the lord of the storm is the lord of power, the blood witch dares to be tough. If you can't beat it, you can't come to the continent of the gods while the lord of storms is in the sea of chaos and attack the kingdom of the lord of storms. Don't say it. This plan of the blood witch is a god assist for Sumo. Originally, Su Mo was going to attack the kingdoms of other strong lawmakers. The Blood Witch was so active, she was ready to attack the kingdom of the Lord of Storms. This is a great opportunity for Su Mo. As the Lord of Power, the Lord of Storms, even if she is in the Sea of Chaos, cannot come to the Continent of Gods in a short time. But she must have a lot of backhands. Su Mo didn't want to let the succubuses go to her country to make trouble. Too much risk. If the succubuses go, there may be great casualties. That's what Su Mo didn't want to see. It is also an act of courting death for a leisurely devil to go to her kingdom. But Blood Witch is different. She is an extremely powerful being among the innate demon gods. The distance from the Lord of Power will not be too far. If she goes, the Lord of the Storm will have an incomparable headache. Even the Lord of the Storm, in the Sea of Chaos, would need time to return to the heavenly realm and descend to the continent of the gods in a short period of time. What's more, this time is an excellent opportunity for the Lord of the Storm. The Nightmare Lord was severely injured by her, and she could drive all the demon gods out of the Sea of Chaos in one fell swoop. Exclusive Harvest of the Sea of Chaos. Her harvest will be greater than that of other heavenly gods in the previous Chaos Waves. In this case, the Lord of the Storm is definitely not willing to be held back by other things. When the time comes, Sumo's chance will come. The kingdom of a mighty lord is too great. That's already a real big empire. How many protagonists and how many villains will there be? When the witch sister will start, tell me, Su Mo said to the blood witch. He he, it's still early, I still have to fight her, there are not many opportunities like this. The blood witch smiled again, he he, it seemed that she was still reconciled. Perhaps, he also pinned his hopes on the nightmare lord. Su Mo didn't tell her that the nightmare lord had died. After a few more chats, Su Mo ended the conversation with the blood witch. He looked around and loaded the success rate system. There are no more chaos stones, Sumo thought. The number of chaos stones around this area is less. Except for this huge chaos stone that was very well hidden, the rest were almost looted. Seeing that the Blood Witch is also ready to fight the Lord of the Storm. Sumo pondered for a while, ready to get the chaos worm out. With his current chaos affinity, this chaos insect may not necessarily attack him. After getting it out, Sumo can pick up a wave of attributes. He can put away all the chaos stones that wrap the chaos insect. These chaos stones, even if there is nothing in them, are good treasures. 
So, Su Mo started cutting. Soon, the chaos stone, which wrapped the chaos insect, was completely cut open by Su Mo. What? After the cut, Su Mo was a little surprised. Because, it wasn't a chaos worm inside, rather, an egg like thing. This thing, chaos egg? Su Mo thought. This egg is not big, and the outer shell is chaotic. Next to the egg, there is also a small bubble. Su Mo poked it out. You picked up Chaos Energy 100, Chaos Affinity 2, Baby Bugs Dependency 1.99. You trigger the crit talent, get 1800 Chaos Energy, Chaos Affinity 36, and Baby Bugs Dependency 18. On the villain panel, a prompt appears. This bubble has a lot of chaotic energy. There is also a Baby Bugs Dependence. What is it? Su Mo was wondering. The egg moved. I saw that the eggshell of the egg was being eaten quickly by something. Then, a chaos insect that looked a little cute stuck out his head. This chaos rushed out of his head, and when he saw Su Mo, he let out a cry of ying ying. It seems to be very happy. Dude, is this the baby bug? It seems that it is not the same as other chaos insects. Soon, the baby worm will finish eating the eggshell. Then, it drilled forward and disappeared. Immediately afterwards, it appeared at Sumo's feet and rubbed Sumo's feet. Is this the dependence of the baby bug? Sumo thought. This thing was also critically hit, from 1 to 18. This chaos insect seems to be a little different. Sumo thought. This should be a special chaos worm. Perhaps because of the space law fragments in the chaos stone that sealed it, this chaos insect was able to travel directly through space. From this look, this chaos worm likes Sumo quite a bit. Little guy. Lua with a move of Sumo's hand, he moved it to his hand. This chaotic worm baby, look carefully, there are still some cuteness. After looking at it for a while, Sumo found that it seemed to be constantly absorbing something from the sea of chaos. It should be the chaotic energy absorbed. Chaos worms and chaos beasts should be able to absorb the energy that they can absorb from the violent energy of the sea of chaos to grow. Go. Sumo put the chaos worm baby on the ground. After the baby bug called Sumo a few times, he reluctantly got into the space and disappeared. Seeing the chaos insect baby leaving, Sumo pondered for a while and took out some chaos energy. He was going to give it a try and see if he could incorporate the chaotic energy into his divine power. If it can be integrated, Sumo is going to collect some more chaotic energy next. This chaotic energy is naturally different from the violent energy in the sea of chaos. This was picked up by the right hand of God, and it was a very gentle chaotic energy. Mild, often also means that it can be absorbed. Sumo tried. He first used dark power. Then, Sumo found out that there are some difficulties in integrating the dark power into the chaotic energy. Try the power of light and darkness. Sumo simply tried the power of light and darkness. His light and dark power has also undergone some changes recently. Su Mo's light and dark supernatural power is a direct fusion of the dark supernatural power belonging to the abyss and the attributeless supernatural power given by the goddesses. The divine power without attributes, that is, the divine power condensed purely by belief. No other ingredients are added in it. This divine power is the basic divine power. But at the same time, in terms of power and function, it is not as good as adding other ingredients to the divine power. It is like dark moon divine power and new moon divine power. There are also some gods who master the thunder power, which will add thunder energy, which can make the god power play a more powerful thunder attack. At the same time, it will be easier to drive the power of the thunder law in the thunder divine power. Another example is the lord of the storm, her divine power must be the divine power of the storm. It has storm energy added to it. Sumo's light and dark supernatural power is equivalent to the fusion of two non-attribute supernatural powers. Recently, Sumo is also trying to add more things to it. It can be done. For example, adding thunder energy to the light and dark supernatural power can make the light and dark supernatural power show the thunder attribute, and the effect is often very good. You can also add storm energy, as can fire energy. After adding, it is still light and dark power. Other energies are just one type of energy, which is equivalent to giving the light and dark power an additional attribute. Now, Sumo wants to try chaos energy. Under Sumo's attempt, the chaotic energy began to merge with the divine power of light and darkness. Don't be chaotic. Sumo thought. When the chaotic energy and the dark power were merged before, the chaotic energy would completely chaotic the dark power and become unavailable. This time, I don't know what will change. Soon, change came. 
I saw that the chaotic energy entered the light and dark divine power. The power of light and darkness is not chaotic. Instead, the chaotic energy was taken in. Integrate chaotic energy into it. Light and dark power, the color also changed again. The previous light and dark power was black. After the fusion enters, the color of light and dark divine power turns into some gray, but it is not the color of chaotic energy. Success. Sumo's hand moved and swallowed that drop of divine power. Then, he tried. I want to try this drop of divine power to see if it can be used. Soon, Sumo knew. This drop of divine power fused with chaotic energy can be driven by him. It can. Su Mo directly drove this drop of divine power fused with chaotic energy to launch a blow. Boom, Su Mo's attack rushed out far away. The power doesn't seem to get bigger. The power of this attack did not seem to have increased. But after Su Mo tried again, he discovered the terrifying part of this divine power. Our chaos itself is resistant to the force of law. If you use this kind of divine power to deal with the law powerhouse, it can be said to be the nemesis of the law powerhouse. Being able to exercise great restraint on it. No, not only can restrain the power of the law. I am afraid that even the power of power can produce restraint. The specific degree of restraint depends on the proportion of chaotic energy added. After some testing, Sumo has more understanding. I am afraid, only the power of light and darkness can accept the energy of chaos. Other divine powers, including the dark moon divine power given by the dark moon goddess, will not work. Will be chaotic and unusable. This is still the mild chaotic energy picked up by attributes. If it is replaced by the violent energy in the sea of chaos, it will be even worse. Only the power of light and darkness can. But there is also a proportion of integration. Once the proportion is too large, the power of light and darkness will also be chaotic. The size of this ratio is not fixed. With intermediate light and dark power, you can incorporate more chaotic energy. After integration, the new divine power will not have much change in power. But in the battle at the law level, I am afraid it will have a miraculous effect. Its resistance to other divine powers is also very high. In other words, the same attack, using the power of chaos, it is much more difficult for people to resist. Let's call you chaos divine power, Sumo whispers. Chaos power. This kind of divine power can be condensed a little, and at a critical time, it can play a very big role. However, in general, Sumo will still focus on the power of light and darkness. After all, only the power of light and darkness can be switched freely. It's a little difficult to switch to the divine face or the devil face when it is replaced by the chaotic supernatural power. This chaotic power is naturally powerful and can be used as another killer of Sumo. The extraction is successful, you get skill fragment too. On the villain panel, a prompt appears. After successfully merging the power of chaos, Sumo took out the Nightmare Heart after the Nightmare Lord was killed. This is the power core of the Nightmare Lord, equivalent to a godhead. The Nightmare Heart has not been destroyed, and the Nightmare Lord has not completely fallen. If the Nightmare Heart escapes, the Nightmare Lord may still make a comeback. The shape of this Nightmare Heart is different from the ordinary Devil Heart. Also a pure spiritual form of heart, Sumo can choose to swallow it and devour its power to increase his spiritual power. But the effect of devouring the Nightmare Heart is not optimal. After swallowing, the ability of the Lord of Nightmare, Sumo may not be able to obtain. So, Sumo chose another path. That is to use the right hand of his god to extract the Heart of Nightmare. His right hand of god can pick up attributes, and can also extract or fuse energy. The legendary right hand of the gods is already very useful. This time, two skill fragments were extracted. After the extraction was completed, Sumo put away the Nightmare Heart and waited for the next extraction. These two skill fragments are still the powerful abilities of the Nightmare Lord. In this way, the ability of the Nightmare Lord will be fully acquired by Sumo one day. After the extraction is completed, the harvest of this trip is basically all bagged. The harvest is still very good. Go find some Chaos Orbs or Chaos Beasts. Sumo thought. While there is still time, find more Chaos Stones and Chaos Beasts. Pick up some more Chaos Energy. So, Sumo flapped his wings and left here. Roar, damn it, where has the Nightmare Lord gone? In the Sea of Chaos, there was a roar of a demon god. There are too many of them, so retreat first. Several surrounding demon gods retreated one after another. Under the leadership of the Lord of Storms, the powers of the Laws of the Heavens are expelling the Abyss Demons in the Sea of Chaos. Since there was no Nightmare Lord, the demon gods were quite depressed. 
the other side. The overwhelming blood color shattered under the attack of the Lord of Storms. But when the blood was completely shattered, the blood sorceress disappeared. Don't chase, it's her trick. Seeing that several law powerhouses are ready to chase out, the Lord of Storms. In this way, the blood witch has injured several law powerhouses in the heavens. Such a cunning demon god made the Lord of Storms feel a little tricky. Of course, it's just tricky. As a powerful master of power, the Blood Witch is not at the same level, and it is impossible to beat her. Seeing that the powerhouses of the laws of the heavens were not fooled, the Blood Witch hiding in the dark quietly sneaked in the other direction. She is not ready to give up. Fighting against a powerful lord is like dancing on the tip of a knife. Blood Witch likes this kind of dangerous feeling. In the outside world, Facing the Lord of Power, she still has some scruples, but the Sea of Chaos is a very good battlefield. The Blood Witch can play to their heart's content here. In this way, soon, another two days passed. In the Sea of Chaos, Su Mo's harvest further increased. In the depths of the Chaos Sea, he found a large number of Chaos Beasts and Chaos Insects, providing a lot of Chaos energy. At the same time, Su Mo found another fish that slipped through the net, a hidden Chaos Space. There were several large chaos orbs inside. After two busy days, Sumo checked the time. Now the time has quietly come to the end of the fourth month. No wonder, the villain forum became lively again. Because, it's time for a new month's ranking list to refresh. Sumo has been in the sea of chaos for more than ten days since Sumo came to the Odin Empire. It didn't make much movement. It also made many protagonists and villains breathe a sigh of relief. Why hasn't the Earl of Moishi Land been moving these days? It's not like he's hanging up, right? How is it possible, I don't think he can hang up so easily. The rankings will be refreshed tomorrow, and I feel like this month will change a lot. I also feel that I heard that there is a villain who is likely to rise to the legendary level. Not only villains, I'm afraid there will be more than one legendary protagonist this month. On the villain forum, many villains talked a lot. Four months have passed, and some of the protagonists and villains who started very high have already made great achievements. His own strength is also increasing rapidly. However, when the strength is not strong enough to break everything, at this stage, the identity and status in the big forces are actually the most important. Even if his own strength is not strong, as long as he masters the power of kingdom level and empire level, it is a very terrifying thing. This month, on the continent of the gods, the pattern of confrontation between the protagonist and the villain has undergone a lot of changes. In the discussion between the protagonist and the villains. On the continent of the gods, one night passed quickly. Early the next morning, the leaderboards of the protagonists and villains were refreshed on time. Many protagonists and villains have been guarded early. Sure enough, Tian Luck has become legendary. At this site, a protagonist finds that Tian Luck, who ranks first on the protagonist list, has become a legendary protagonist. At the end of last month, Tian Luck was only a few thousand protagonist values short of becoming a legendary protagonist. Look, two more legendary protagonists have appeared. In a group of protagonists, a protagonist shouted. The other protagonists watched. This look, these protagonists will see. Sure enough, the second and third legendary protagonists appeared. East Emperor, it's him, who was ranked a dozen or so on the protagonist list before. How could he suddenly rush to the legendary level, and then he came to the second place? You ask me, who do I ask, East Emperor is in the Wild Continent. The third place is in the Thunder Empire, and he has become the Pope of the Thunder Empire? Haha. <laughs> My brother Lei is really amazing, you all come to the Thunder Empire, the villain here has been almost killed by brother Lei. This wave of protagonists has made a lot of money, and three legendary protagonists have appeared. The protagonist forum suddenly became extremely lively. Seeing the emergence of three legendary protagonists. For the past few days, the protagonists who were almost out of breath by Sumo's oppression also breathed a sigh of relief. Then, the protagonists run off to see the villain rankings. Sure enough, the Earl of Mo Shilling still dominates the list. At first glance, unsurprisingly, Sumo still dominates the list. This month, Sumo's data has not changed much. The first of three, as for the specific gas value and the like, it is impossible to see at all. The record has reached more than 300, close to 400. The protagonists look again at the villain leaderboard. At this site, the faces of these protagonists change. Because this month has passed, several legendary villains have been born. Behind Su Mo, the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, all became legendary villains. 
In other words, the villains now have a total of one epic villain and five legendary villains. How can there be so many legendary villains all at once? There is no doubt that these villains must have taken risks. The power of the Earl of Moshiland has not only brought great pressure to the protagonists, but also made the villains choose to go all out. Yeah, in an empire next to me, there are villains who are desperate to kill the protagonist. They have seen it now, and if they don't work hard, their good days will not be long. Look at the record list, the villain's record has risen very fast, these five villains who have risen to the legendary level should be Goldfinger who have received the bonus of increasing the villain value. The protagonists were just a little excited, but they were immediately thrown a basin of cold water. By the fourth month, the protagonists have changed from seedlings to small trees. And some protagonists with gold finger or above at the beginning have grown into big trees. These protagonists already have a very high status in their respective kingdoms or empires. Even the surrounding villains were emptied. Seeing the strong protagonists keep appearing, the villains have a sense of urgency. More on the threat that Sumo brings to these villains, let some villains realize that if they don't work hard, they will be finished. So, last month, the villain and the protagonist fought very fiercely. Some villains began to recklessly attack the protagonist. Some gold level villains who have been planning for a long time have also made big moves frequently. In one month, the results of all the villains on the leaderboards have changed a lot. Of course, there are also protagonists who found that some of the villains' names disappeared. I don't know if it fell off the leaderboard or was killed by the protagonist. Haha, <laughs> brother Mo V5, he actually took it so quietly, he became a legendary villain. In a villain group, the sound of boasting sounded. Brother Mo, who has become a legendary villain, is very proud. Luck and luck, I killed a protagonist with an augmentation system, otherwise I wouldn't be able to become a legendary villain. Brother Mo said, humbly, the other villains also touted them one by one. Unfortunately, I still didn't make it into the top three, but when I upgrade this booster system to the legendary level, maybe I can catch up with them soon. Brother Mo thought about it. At the same time, among other villain groups, those who became legendary villains also attracted a lot of praise. Damn it, these villains are growing so fast, legendary villains. Unfortunately, I can't post messages on the villain forum. On the wild continent, on a high mountain full of magic power, the voice of a protagonist sounded. This protagonist has a large number of powerful monsters. This protagonist is the East Emperor, who rushed to the second place in the protagonist list in one fell swoop. P. After thinking about it, the protagonist found a contact and sent a message. Yi Chen, come to the wilderness continent, and give me a live broadcast, I want a big wave, when I succeed, I will give you some villains. East Emperor Road. Okay, brother, opposite, soon, the contact replied. The legendary invincible domain system has basically reached the battle power ceiling of the god's continent, and there is a powerful god behind me. Even if the Earl of Moshi Land comes over, he has to kneel for me. There is a coldness in the eyes of the East Emperor. This time, he used his own system to ambush a large number of villains, thus rising to the legendary level in one fell swoop. Now, he is ready to come to a bigger wave, altar. The Eastern Emperor's system is very special. Not growth type. Rather, it is an invincible domain system. This system makes him invincible in an area. This invincibility is not really invincible, but also has a certain upper limit of power. The upper limit of power depends on the system level of the Eastern Emperor. The upper limit of the bronze level is the legendary level. In other words, as long as the enemy's strength does not exceed the legendary level, once he enters the East Emperor's territory, even if he is just an ordinary person, he can easily kill the opponent. The upper limit of the silver level is naturally the sanctuary. The upper limit of the gold level system is a demigod. The Eastern Emperor's invincible domain system was at the gold level from the very beginning. The protagonist's gold finger, except for the ring flow, basically will not give them too strong combat power at the beginning. East Emperor's gold finger is an exception. Although there are regional restrictions, it is undoubtedly extremely powerful. The Eastern Emperor kept attracting villains to hunt and kill. Although the place where he is located is also a wild continent, it is also a relatively prosperous area in the wild continent. Not as isolated as in the area where the Caterpillar tribe is located. There are a large number of countries that have been cultivated around, and the number of villains is still quite large. In the past few months, the East Emperor has attracted a lot of villains, and directly killed each other. In the middle, his luck was good, and the villain he killed had already killed several protagonists. In the hands of this villain, there happens to be a gold finger with an increase in rewards. 
After he upgrades this gold finger to the gold level, he can get the increase of the protagonist value by killing the villain. Last month, he came to a big wave, attracting a large number of villains. Kills in one fell swoop. As a result, enough protagonist values have been accumulated, and the invincible field system has been upgraded to the legendary level. Yes, he chose to ascend the invincible field system first. Because he's ready for a bigger wave, the legendary invincible field system, the upper limit of invincible power is, pseudo-god. That is to say, even if a false god enters his area, he has to lie down obediently. Come to an ordinary god, and I can kill too. East Emperor's eyes flashed, thinking. This is his bottom line. Su Mo stole the show a few months ago. Even the gods are blown away. But now, the Eastern Emperor feels that times have changed. His time is here, his own strength is actually not that strong. After all, the invincible domain system is not used to improve its own strength. The level of the invincible field system determines the upper limit of invincibility. And his own strength determines the size of the invincible area. Now, with the help of another evolutionary system he obtained later, he has raised his strength to the magic guide level. It took four months for the strength to reach the magic guide level. This speed, compared with other protagonists who start at the gold level, is too slow. But this is also impossible, his gold finger is already very buggy. If he can quickly improve his own strength, it will affect the balance too much. After rising to the fifth rank, his invincible area has also become quite large. The area is tens of thousands of square kilometers. It is equivalent to a circle with a diameter of several hundred kilometers centered on the mountain he initially crossed. In this area, he is invincible. This is a very large area. If his future strength grows further, this area will continue to expand. Although his own strength is not strong, but relying on the evolution system, he contracted a lot of monsters. These beasts were raised quite powerfully by him. These monsters have also become his very loyal subordinates. These monsters also helped him lay down a lot of territory. Now he has also built a small kingdom with hundreds of thousands of people in it. Through these hundreds of thousands of people, he also communicated with a quite powerful god. This god can provide him with divine light protection. Coupled with his invincible domain system, the East Emperor feels that this wave is very stable. It's best if the Earl of the Blackstone Land can come, and if he doesn't come, it's okay to attract some other villains. East Emperor thought. If Su Mo came over, he was ready to kill the opponent in one fell swoop before he knew his gold finger. Not even God can save Su Mo. Even if Su Mo gained power from God in advance, he was not afraid. Because the Eastern Emperor knows that the false god is the ceiling of the power of the god's continent. In his opinion, his system is already at the upper limit of the continent of the gods. Unless it is some extremely powerful gods who can forcibly break through the limitations of false gods. Otherwise, as long as the other party dares to enter his invincible field, he will not be false to the other party. Even if he didn't necessarily kill him, the other party couldn't do anything about him. He didn't wait too long. Just three days later, the protagonist of the live stream he contacted came to his area. However, the protagonist of the live stream was very cautious and did not approach the place where the East Emperor was. The protagonist of the live stream did not know that he had actually entered the range of the Eastern Emperor's invincible domain. Brother, I'm here, let me start the live broadcast for you. Live stream protagonist said. Okay, East Emperor Road. So, the protagonist of the live stream opened the live room. He zoomed in on the camera and successfully photographed the Eastern Emperor on the mountain. Soon, his live broadcast room appeared on the protagonist forum. Some of the protagonists who paid attention poured into his live broadcast room one after another. This guy is already very popular because he has broadcast Sumo several times before. Every live broadcast, there are many protagonists watching. Soon, Dondi also saw the live broadcast. During the live broadcast, he was sitting on a tall throne with a large number of demon beasts in front of him, looking extremely imposing. Marvin Yi, put the live broadcast room on the villain forum. East Emperor Road. Ah? Brother, this may reveal your position. The protagonist of the live stream is puzzled. All it takes is exposure, the East Emperor said lightly. Seeing that the East Emperor insisted, Yi Chen had to do as he did. So, soon, Yi Chen's live broadcast room appeared on the villain forum. As soon as this live broadcast room appeared, it was discovered by a large number of protagonists and villains. At this time, on the forum, many protagonists and villains are still discussing the changes in the rankings this time. Huh, East Emperor. 
some protagonists and villains saw the title of the live broadcast room and poured in one after another. Because, on the title of this live broadcast room, the word, East Emperor, is written. This is the second leading protagonist on the protagonist list. It has also attracted a lot of attention recently. As soon as they entered, these protagonists and villains saw the pictures in the live broadcast room. I saw the Eastern Emperor sitting on a huge throne. In the sky, a large number of flying monsters are flying. Beside him, there are densely packed and huge numbers of magical beasts. He is supported by many beasts, like the master of all beasts. This is the Eastern Emperor? Could it be that his gold finger belonged to a royal beast? It looks a bit like, so many monsters, my god. He suddenly started a live broadcast. What is he going to do? Could it be that he got a live broadcast system? In the live broadcast room, the protagonists who came in talked a lot. Expressed incomprehension at the behavior of the East Emperor. Not only the protagonists are puzzled, but the villains are also puzzled. Soon, the protagonist and the villain discovered that in this live broadcast room, both the protagonist and the villain were there. I'm going, the villain has also entered this live broadcast room. Haha, <laughs> you protagonists are finished, this time we have five legendary villains. Cut. It's like saying that you are not finished. When the Earl of Moshi Land finds you, you will be finished too. In the live broadcast room, the protagonist and the villain fight. On the mountain, there are enough people in the live broadcast room. The emperor finally spoke up. I, the eastern emperor, challenge all the villains here. I want to say that all your villains are rubbish. Even the Earl of the Black Stone Land is not worth mentioning in my eyes. The east emperor said lightly, I go. This is so arrogant. A legendary protagonist, actually so arrogant? Even the Earl of Moishi Land doesn't like it? Peel him and let him know why the flowers are so red. The words of the East Emperor immediately aroused the emotions of many villains. This guy actually said that all villains are garbage. Who can stand it? My location is in the middle of the wilderness continent, the Principality of West Asia. If you don't agree, you can come to me, especially the Earl of the Black Stone Land. I'm looking forward to fighting with you. The East Emperor continued to speak in a provocative tone, though plain. This guy directly announced his position. In its realization stage, the positions of many protagonists are also made public. It's just that the villains can't deal with it because of the identity the other party has acquired. But the situation in the Wild Continent is different. There is more chaos here, and there are more opportunities for villains. Therefore, the protagonists in the Wild Continent generally hide very tightly. Not to mention that he will not reveal his identity in front of everyone. He is a legendary protagonist, and once his identity is made public, he does not know how much coveted he will be. After all, killing him is equivalent to killing many other protagonists. Therefore, as soon as the live broadcast of the Eastern Emperor came out, there was no doubt that it exploded directly on the forum. It's just that he has just become a legendary protagonist, but he is so arrogant, do you think those monsters can protect him? Not too far from the Eastern Emperor, a gold level villain, suddenly thought about it. Brother Succubus, where are you? The Lord of the Storm leads people everywhere to find the demon god, so don't let her find you. On the forum, there was a lot of discussion about the public provocation of the legendary protagonist. In the Sea of Chaos, the Blood Witch's voice sounded. Su Mo said lightly, Sister Witch, don't worry, the Lord of the Storm can't help me. Yo? Are you so confident? The blood witch Ying Ying smiled. Then do you want to come over and deal with the Lord of the Storm with your sister? Before she spoke, her smile froze on her face. Because, around her, a lot of storms appeared. These storms formed an airtight cage that completely surrounded the blood witch. Above these storms, the Lord of Storms, who became the incarnation of the storms, appeared. Blood witch, this time, you can't run away. The voice of the Lord of the Storm resounded throughout this area. Is it? The blood witch didn't care about contacting Sumo, she snorted lightly, turned into a bloody light, and quickly rushed in one direction. But this time, the Lord of the Storm seems to have been prepared. Over there, an invisible wave is surging. The power of the wind. The blood witch's expression changed and she had to change her direction. In the past few days, the blood witch and the Lord of the Storm have fought more than once. The Lord of the Storm is too strong. As long as the demon gods find the chaotic space, the Lord of the Storm will bring the Law Powerhouse to kill them and forcibly drive the Demon Gods away. Not only that, once the Demon Gods are discovered, the Lord of the Storm will chase them all the way. Several Law-level Demon Gods were seriously injured and had to withdraw from the Sea of Chaos. 
As the number of demon gods decreases, the disadvantage of the abyss side also increases. I can't stand it anymore, but the blood witch is not reconciled. She didn't give in so easily, even if the other party is the master of power. After these few days of fighting, although it is equivalent to dancing on the tip of a knife, the blood witch has actually gained a lot. The battle with the lord of power was also very tough for her. However, if you often walk by the river, how can you not get your shoes wet? This time, the blood sorceress was caught. After all, the lord of the storm is the lord of power. He was escaped by the blood witch one after another. How could the lord of the storm allow her to do this? Therefore, the lord of the storm went directly to the big move this time. From the heavens, a law powerhouse who is extremely good at tracking has been invited. After finding the blood sorceress through clues, the lord of the storm has laid a net. So, the blood witch soon found out, she seems to be unable to escape. Even if the whole card is used once, the effect is not good. Because the Lord of the Storm was already prepared after the Lord of Nightmare escaped. After all, her trump card is not comparable to the trump card of the quasi-powerful Lord of Nightmare. The Blood Witch clashed left and right, but did not accept her fate. She still has a whole card, but the cost of using it is very high, and she must choose the right time to use it. If she can't rush out, she can only risk using that whole card. At the same time, the other side, the little blood witch in Sumo's hands also spoke again. Brother Succubus, my elder sister may have explained it this time, the hair on your hand is the last bit of elder sister's will, you have to keep it well. The voice of the blood witch was rare and pitiful. As if it was really about to fall. Really? That's a pity. Sumo said regretfully. The blood witch's eyes were full of resentment. My sister is so good to you, aren't you going to come and save it? Oh, do you still want to ask for help? On the other side, the Lord of the Storm noticed that the Blood Witch was communicating with the outside world, and the scepter of the wind in his hand moved. The Blood Witch's pressure further increased, and at the same time, the Blood Witch in Sumo's hands also turned into long bloody hair again. Obviously, the Blood Witch's connection with this long hair was forcibly cut off by the Lord of the Storm. Seeing that the Lord of the Storm was so powerful, the Blood Witch snorted softly and kept attacking. However, the effect is not good. Around, more than 20 other law powerhouses are also taking action. These law powerhouses did not directly attack the Blood Witch. Instead, we will do our best to strengthen the seal in this area and prevent the Blood Witch from escaping. For the Lord of Storms, the difficulty of the Blood Witch itself is not how powerful the Blood Witch is. But the Blood Witch is too cunning, like a loach, every time she misses a hit, she immediately withdraws, causing her a headache. As long as the Blood Witch can't escape, as the Master of Power, can't she solve the other party? Only use that thing. Seeing that the hope of breaking through this time is getting slimmer and slimmer. In the attack of the Lord of the Storm, the Blood Witch was almost unable to withstand it. She decisively chose to use that expensive life-saving thing. A terrifying blood-colored aura rose from her body. This life-saving thing made the Blood Witch's strength increase several times in a short period of time. Then, she suddenly rushed in one direction. Want to get out of there. However, the next second, there, the dark moon goddess suddenly appeared, and when she raised her hand, she launched a terrifying attack. A mere law powerhouse also wants to block me. The blood witch's expression remained unchanged, and she rushed over. But immediately, the attack of the dark moon goddess changed her complexion. This attack is too powerful, not only that. This attack reminded her of the attack that Sumo made when she saw Sumo for the first time. Although the strength attributes of the two are different, the aura of divine power in the two attacks made her feel too similar. Boom, attack is coming, so strong. The blood witch's face changed, the dark moon goddess attack was too strong, and she had to resist with all her strength. This block was abruptly slowed down. The lord of the storm and the attacks of other law powers are coming at the same time. The blood witch had to rush in the other direction. But at this time, the best opportunity has been missed, and the attack of the lord of the storm is coming again. The Blood Witch's pretty face is full of thrilling evil. She is ready to consume her trump cards further and pay a higher price to force her way out. At this moment, sudden, an attack rushed in from the outside. Then I saw that the huge cage laid by the Lord of the Storm with the power of the wind was instantly smashed under the attack of that attack. Next second, the figure flashed, and a person suddenly appeared beside the Blood Witch. It's you. The familiar breath came, and she knew who was coming. The other party didn't mean to speak. As soon as he hugged her, he flapped his wings again, and disappeared in place in an instant. 
Its speed is so fast that even the Lord of the Storm has no time to stop it. She escaped again. After a while, the Lord of the Storm stood high in the sky and put away his scepter. Below, the huge storm has gradually subsided. There were some doubts in her eyes. The existence of the Blood Witch who just rescued her feels very strong. The attack made her feel even more terrifyingly strong. Even the cages she laid with the power of the wind can be easily shattered. But inexplicably, she felt that the devil. Where did she seem to have seen it? Not just the Lord of the Storm. Below, the goddess of the dark moon looked at the place where Sumo disappeared, and there was a trace of doubt in her heart. Because, she also has a strong sense of familiarity with Sumo. Even though Sumo has done a disguise, the breath is completely different. But the dark moon goddess is Sumo's woman, coupled with her keenness as a law powerhouse, and she saw Sumo's succubus form ten years ago. As a result, the familiarity of the dark moon goddess is very strong. It's not him, is it? This thought appeared in the heart of the dark moon goddess. She actually thought of Sumo directly, but vaguely, she didn't feel like it. Because of the Sumo just now, it seems a little too strong. The blood sorceress can't get out of the net without consuming her trump cards, but Sumo broke it with a single blow. How powerful is this? I am afraid it is the devil at the peak of the law. Is it difficult for Sumo, or is it impossible for such a powerful demon? Not too possible. Ten years ago, Sumo was still a demon king level succubus. Therefore, the dark moon goddess now has a belly of doubts in her head. When the dark moon goddess was puzzled, Sumo had taken the blood witch quickly away from the chaos sea. Hee hee, I didn't expect that you really saved my sister. In Sumo's arms, the blood witch looked at Sumo with provocative eyes and said. At this time, she was not as calm as she looked on the inside. Because when Sumo just rescued her, the strength she showed was very scary. Sumo's wings fluttered. Every time he flicked, he appeared in another place. Soon, Sumo took the blood sorceress away from the Stormlord's group. He stopped. In his arms, the blood witch's breath seemed a little weak. Her hands were wrapped around Sumo, and there was some reluctance to let go. Is the witch sister injured? Sumo asked lightly. Yes, my sister is injured, the blood witch buried her face full of bewitching beauty in Sumo's arms and said weakly. Judging from her appearance, she seemed to be a weak woman who had suffered heavy losses. Snuggled in the arms of the lover. However, if you really think she is seriously injured, you are very wrong. This witch's words are true and false. If it is said to be an injury, it is also very likely to be a temptation. After all, in the abyss, trust between demon gods is a very difficult thing. Even if a contract is signed, it is not insurance for the devil. If anyone believes in the demon god's contract and sells you in minutes, you have to count the money for them. In the abyss, the only one who can trust is his own strength. When a demon god has no power, there is no sense of security. No one can make them trust. Then I'm going to take advantage of the danger. Hearing the blood witch's words, Sumo said, 553. The blood witch raised her head and looked at Sumo timidly. Then she saw that Sumo's body leaned down, as if trying to force her. Brother, how are you? The blood witch, he he, smiled, and in the blink of an eye, she appeared opposite Sumo. Really? The blood witch's injury is fake. Although she paid a price, it was not a serious injury. Although elder sister likes you very much, but not right now, when you become elder sister's husband, he he. The blood witch walked with enchanting steps and said. Sumo said lightly. I'm ready to leave the Sea of Chaos, how about you witch? Leaving the Sea of Chaos? The Blood Witch was a little unwilling. She still wants to fight the Lord of the Storm. However, she also knew that she alone was not enough. The Nightmare Lord doesn't know where to go, eh, my sister can't beat her. The Blood Witch sighed. In the Scarlet Eyes, his eyes flashed. Obviously, she is ready to attack the Kingdom of the Storm Lord. She is the master who never suffers. After having a plan, she looked at Sumo again. The Blood Witch's interest in Sumo is also growing. Sumo's body is full of mystery, so she can't help but want to find out. Since she met Sumo, Sumo's performance has exceeded her expectations time and time again. Let's go. This sea of chaos, my sister is not here anymore. The Blood Witch has already made a decision. To stay any longer is too risky. Wow, damn it. These heavenly gods are too much. Where has the Nightmare Lord gone? If it hadn't run away, we wouldn't have fought like this. The Nightmare Lord may have plotted against it. It's not over. A few hours later, 
the roars of the demon gods sounded one after another in the chaos overseas. These demon gods are all very angry. The Lord of Storms is too strong, and the Lord of Nightmare doesn't know where to go, they can't beat them at all. In addition, the Blood Witch was ambushed by a wave, and each of these demon gods almost confessed to the Sea of Chaos. You don't think it's strange that the succubus and demon gods were not there all the time. I suspect that it colluded with the gods of the heavens. At this time, the horned shield demon god of super resentment ran out again. However, its voice has not yet fallen. Boom. A terrible attack is coming. Before the horned shield demon god could react, he was hit by Sumo's attack and was directly knocked into the air. But it only flew a few kilometers backwards when Sumo was already in its path. Boom. As soon as Sumo stepped on his foot, he stepped on the demon god of horn shield on the ground again. What did you just say? Sumo's faint voice sounded. Wow. Damn it. Boom, the horned shield demon god roared, but Sumo stepped on it and put it out. Although Sumo's body is not as big as one of its eyes. But Sumo stepped on it with one foot, and the whole head of the horned shield demon god was humming. This guy finally realized the crisis and shut up abruptly. That little expression made me cry. At this moment, the blood witch finally appeared. Seeing the blood witch, the horned shield demon god really cried. I lost my face once before, but now I don't know where my face went. The other demon gods were also stunned by Sumo again. Wow, blood witch, I'm panicking, I'm going to destroy their kingdom, are you going? A demon god who was not much weaker than the blood witch roared. Count me in. Another demon god also roared. The other demon gods also spoke up one after another. They were all ready to take action. This time, these demon gods were also depressed enough. First, so many chaotic spaces were inexplicably empty. Then, he was beaten by the gods of the heavens, and was driven out of the Sea of Chaos. Some of these demon gods would even have to confess in the Sea of Chaos if they hadn't slipped fast. Their harvest is also the least harvested among the demon gods who have entered the Sea of Chaos over the years. Some demon gods have only obtained a few chaos stones in these days. If everything is normal, each demon god can get at least dozens of chaos stones. This harvest is too little. How could these demon gods be able to swallow this breath? In addition, in their view, it is not that they cannot be beaten, but the lack of high-end combat power has led to the rout. This makes it even more difficult to swallow. Therefore, the demon gods were furious one by one. Demon gods don't have such big hearts, they suffer, but it's not so easy to forget. Therefore, these demon gods are preparing to do some action one by one. Go and attack the kingdoms of those who have strong laws. The number of law powerhouses, whether in the heavens or the abyss, is only a few. The power of the law has existed for much longer than ordinary gods. The law powerhouses who entered the Sea of Chaos this time have also fought against demons in the past. These demon gods also know where their kingdom is. Seeing that the demon gods have such plans one by one. The Blood Witch is also planning. As a result, these demon gods quickly reached an agreement. Start discussing who will deal with whom. In the kingdom of the Lord of Storms, except for the Blood Witch, no demon god is willing to go. Even the demon god who is not too weak compared to the Blood Witch is unwilling to go to the kingdom of the Lord of Storms. These demon gods each chose a country. A kingdom with strong laws is more difficult to deal with than an ordinary kingdom. The divine light effect of the strong person is better, and the opening of the channel is also more difficult. For example, in the New Moon Kingdom, the passage for the spiked demon god to descend requires 999 blood sacrifices to open it. If the spiked demon god wants to come to a country with strong laws, such as the Stu Empire, this number needs to be doubled, and if it was in the Kingdom of the Lord of Storms, it would take thousands of blood sacrifices to open the passage. The stronger the demon god, the greater the passage needed to descend. A law level demon god needs a larger passage. Even the blood witch doesn't have so many secrets. But this time, the demon gods are not just preparing to make trouble, but preparing for a big wave. Let the powers of the laws of the heavens have no way to explore the sea of chaos with peace of mind. They are not going to attack the capital directly. Instead, they are preparing to transmit the demon army from the edge area and launch a large scale attack. At the edge area, the divine light decays and the cost of opening the channel is not so great. As law level demon gods, the demon dynasty under their command is too powerful. It's enough to make these law powerhouses in the Sea of Chaos devastated. Put me up, I'm going too. Seeing that other law level demon gods have chosen their targets, the horn shield demon god shouted at Sumo's feet. Boom, 
Sumo stomped again, making the guy stop. Then, he looked at the blood witch. Leave the kingdom of the dark moon goddess to me. Dark moon goddess? The blood witch glanced at Sumo suspiciously. She hadn't heard the name of the dark moon goddess. The time for the dark moon goddess to become a law powerhouse is too short. Although this time the third month has been taken away, her reputation has not spread to the abyss. Although she didn't know, the blood witch also inexplicably thought of the goddess who shot her. On the other side's forehead, there does seem to be a moon mark. The blood witch suddenly felt a little weird. When the goddess made her move, in the powerful blow, there was a little divine aura. It's really similar to what Sumo had before. Only, compared to Sumo, one is evil and one is holy. So, although odd, she didn't have too many associations. Although I don't know, but Sumo has spoken, the blood witch can't say it badly. So, soon, the group of demon gods, who were comparable to the law powerhouses, set their own goals one by one. Who? Let them know how good we are in this wave. It just so happens that in my dynasty, there are too many demons, you can use them to consume them. The demon gods roared away one by one. Get ready for a big move. Soon, many demon gods left. Only the blood witch and Sumo are left here. Oh, and a big resentment being stomped on by Sumo. Brother, I'm leaving. The blood witch's demeanor became a little twisted. She slowly walked in front of Sumo and put her hands on Sumo's shoulders. Four eyes facing each other. The blood witch raised her toes. A quick tap on Sumo's forehead. He he, just treat it as a reward for you. Then, her figure quickly dissipated. Seeing the blood witch leave, Sumo fluttered his wings and left here too. Roar. As soon as Sumo left, the hatred of the horned shield demon god was about to explode. Actually, the blood witch actually kissed Sumo. Damn it. Ah, the horned shield demon god exploded. The other side. One of Sumo's wings. Soon, he returned to the succubus dynasty. Wings of the Void is really powerful, legendary protagonist? In the succubus dynasty, Sumo, who just returned, looked at the villain forum. Just saw the hot discussion on the villain forum. In the wild continent, a legendary protagonist openly provokes all the villains. Sumo called up a live video recorded by the villain. Interesting. After watching this video, Sumo whispered. Four months have passed, and a large number of protagonists have grown up. This legendary protagonist seems to have something to rely on, so he dares to publicly provoke. Especially, provocation to him. The story of Sumo blowing up the gods has already spread all over the protagonist and villain forums, and no one knows it. In this case, the other party dares to provoke, and the cards in his hand should be enough to deal with the existence of the pseudo-god. With Sumo's current wisdom, he quickly thought of many possibilities. Then, Sumo closed the villain panel. This legendary protagonist is in no hurry. Let's see if the other villains will do anything. This guy definitely has the gold finger of the booster reward. Basically, at this stage, it is not easy to reach the legendary level of gold finger without increasing the value of the protagonist or villain. For example, on the villain rankings, there is a villain whose record has also broken through 100, but it is still gold. This shows that the villain did not receive the gold finger of the booster reward. This eastern emperor, obviously there is. If Dondi can use this wave to rise to the epic level, that would save Sumo a lot of trouble. The epic level goes up, it is the myth level. The villain value required by the mythical level is a bit amazing. A full 5 million villain value. With so many villains, unless it is a protagonist with a high level of killing. Otherwise, to kill a low level protagonist, how many kills would be enough for? The Eastern Emperor still didn't know how terrifying the person he provoked was. He's in the wild continent, and for Sumo, it's just too good to kill. It can be said that as long as Sumo is willing, he can solve the other party at any time. So, Sumo is ready to observe first. Let's see how much Dondi can earn in this wave. If the other party doesn't earn enough, Sumo is even ready to help him out to see if he can feed him epic. If you feed the Eastern Emperor to an epic level, after killing him, you will get 10 times more crit. Sumo can be directly upgraded to the mythical level. The villain value can also be upgraded to a mythical gold finger. The epic gold finger has helped him a little, but not enough. The mythical gold finger will naturally be more powerful. It just so happened that this wave of blood witches and demon gods was ready to attack the Lord of the Storm in the kingdom of more than 20 law powerhouses. Su Mo is going to work this way first. A great empire of a mighty lord. Coupled with a small empire of many law powerhouses. There are a lot of protagonists and villains in it. 
At that time, if the protagonist of the East Emperor is not enough. Sumo can also use these protagonists and villains to feed the East Emperor. As for the reliance of the East Emperor, Sumo has already guessed seven or eight. The Eastern Emperor in the Wild Continent doesn't know yet. He has been treated by Sumo as a pig ready to be fattened. Open the blind box first, Sumo whispers. He is going to open all the Chaos Stones first. This time he obtained a lot of Chaos Stones. Before and after, a total of more than 1,000 Chaos Stones were obtained. Among these Chaos Stones, there are some very large ones. Su Mo started screening. Soon, he was screened. Among the more than 1,000 Chaos Stones, there are more than 500 Chaos Worms. There are more than 300 pieces, which are empty and have nothing. If there is something, it ends up being more than 150 Yuan. Still a lot. Su Mo took out the artifact and cut it up. In a short time, all the more than 150 Chaos Stones were cut open by him. Good harvest. There are a total of 40 pieces of law fragments. These 40 or so pieces of law are still relatively large. Once integrated, the mastery of a law can reach a high level. Space. In it, Sumo also found 5 space law fragments. He didn't say a word, and integrated it all into his own succubus bloodline. These law fragments were quickly assimilated by blood. His void wings were further enhanced by this. Thunder, fire, storm, destruction. Sumo looked at other fragments of the law. There are many types of these law fragments. If you switch to other law powerhouses, you will not use all the law fragments after getting so many law fragments. Instead, he will only choose his main attack, and exchange other law fragments with other law powerhouses. Every law powerhouse will mainly attack a law that suits him best. Then, they will pick one or two vices. This is if their way is blocked by the Lord of Power, they have other choices. Generally speaking, many gods have exhausted all their potential when they become law powerhouses. It is extremely difficult for them to go further. For many gods, it is not bad to be able to form a law. It won't pick and choose. For Sumo, it's different again. His succubus bloodline was able to successfully devour these fragments of laws, allowing Sumo to master these laws naturally. There is no other celestial deity mastering too many laws, resulting in too many but not fine. Of course, there must also be a main attack direction. Su Mo pondered for a while, and chose a few from these law fragments and kept them. Then, he integrated the laws he wanted to master into the succubus bloodline. With the integration of these law fragments, Su Mo felt that his bloodline skills were increasing again. Thunderlight began to appear on his void wings. Then, Su Mo's wings were flapped. Thunderbolt. A black thunder struck out, shattering a piece of debris in the abyss. Su Mo's thoughts moved, and the light and dark power was transformed into divine attributes, and he launched an attack again. Thunderbolt. This time, the thunder turned white, and its power was also reduced a lot. The divine body still affects the performance. Su Mo whispers. His divine body, or the body of a demon god, directly drives the light and dark divine power of the divine side, which will affect the power of the skill. However, this time, Su Mo was certain. His sacred succubus bloodline is indeed very powerful. Whether it is the heaven or the law fragments in the abyss, they can be swallowed directly and become the law mastered by Sumo. After this wave of fusion, Sumo found that he had mastered the power of eight laws. Space, thunder, storm, destruction, fire, two types, ice, two types. Among them, the law of flame and ice have obtained two branches respectively. The strongest, nature is still the law of space. Now, if he is in the abyss, the combat power he exerts is already extremely terrifying. With the eight laws, plus the supernatural power of light and darkness, and the supernatural power of chaos, if the fight is serious, the blood witch is not necessarily Sumo's opponent. I'm afraid, the current Sumo is facing the Nightmare Lord, so he can just be tough without any calculations. If you enter the heaven, you will still be restricted by the divine body. God of light and darkness, Sumo thought. It is still necessary to shape the light and dark body as soon as possible. Thinking of this, he put away all the other gains. This time, except for 40 or so law fragments. The other chaos stones are good too. There is some special energy that has been absorbed by Sumo. For example, the energy corresponding to the law, such as storm energy, thunder energy and so on. In the fusion of the law fragments, these energies are also needed. In some chaotic stones, there are clumps of chaotic energy. There are also some special things. For example, inside a chaos stone, there is a piece of black iron. This is no ordinary iron. 
It is a kind of divine iron with super high density and texture, and a very good bearing capacity for divine power. Can be used to create artifacts, there are quite a few materials like this from Chaos Stone this time. The quality of these materials is also very high, and they should be able to be used to create artifacts for those with strong laws. If you want to create higher quality artifacts, the best way is to throw these divine irons into the sun of the heaven to smelt. These divine irons will be melted by more than half. In the end, under the terrifying temperature in the sun, it has not melted, and the artifact used to create the remaining things is called a powerful one. The deeper the divine iron enters the celestial world, the more powerful the rest will be. For Su Mo, there is an easy way. That is to extract through the right hand of God. Take the attributes from the divine iron and use it to strengthen the artifact. Attributes extracted from objects that are incorporated into the body are often not suitable. It can be integrated into other objects, as this chaos fruit. Su Mo also got a few fruit-like things, like chaos fruit. There is a strong chaotic energy inside. This thing is the favorite of chaos insects and chaos beasts. The usage of chaos fruit by other gods is to use them to divert some powerful chaos beasts, so as to obtain chaos stones guarded by these chaos beasts. Su Mo put away these chaos fruits. The harvest of this wave of opening the blind box is all pocketed. The harvest is still very large. Su Mo's strength has also been greatly increased. Are they going to start? After this wave of strength growth, Su Mo took out the blood witch's bloody hair. You miss your sister so soon? The blood witch's blood colored hair turned into a little blood witch. As soon as she appeared, she showed her true nature as a witch. Su Mo asked, Witch, have you started to act? Of course, the good show will start soon, they are all waiting for me to move first. Blood witch said, When she speaks, on the continent of the gods. An extremely prosperous, and extremely large empire bordered by divine light. In a cottage, a large number of horse thieves are performing a ceremony there. As the ceremony went on, the expressions on the faces of these horse thieves were almost insane. On the ground, the blood-colored six-pointed star array is also getting brighter and brighter. Immediately after, in the eyes of those horse thieves, a red light appeared, as if possessed by a demon. Quick, put up the magic circle and block the divine light. A horse thief made a low voice. The other horse thieves also took action. These horse thieves have long been occupied by demons. In this way, in the fringes of the empire, Shangwang can be found less quickly. It's starting, brother, in the abyss, the voice of the blood which resounded. Boom, on the edge of the storm empire, above the mountains, a large number of demons appeared. Although these demons set up the magic circle in advance, when they rushed to the magic circle, they were still quickly discovered. Demon breath. At the Holy Sea headquarters of the storm empire, the clergy in charge of the divine light monitor made a shrill voice. Demon invasion. And, not just in one place. The blood sorceress has a great hand, this time, she launched an invasion of the storm empire from several places at the same time. The densely packed demons rushed out. The large numbers of these demons rushed towards the hinterland of the storm empire from all directions. The reaction of the storm empire was also quite fast. Soon, the temple knights and magicians in the holy sea of storms were sent out and quickly reached the battlefield through the space gate. These demons are courting death, even the storm empire dares to invade. At the same time, a protagonist voice sounded in a group of protagonists of the storm empire. This group of protagonists is exactly the group of protagonists of the storm empire. As the kingdom of the lord of storms, the empire of storms is also very powerful. Huge area and huge population. Around the storm empire, there are some kingdoms of the gods under the lord of storms. The entire Storm Empire has a long history and is extremely powerful. The idle demon gods are unwilling to arrange dark suns in the Storm Empire. Because it doesn't work, the Lord of the Storm is too powerful. Strong enough to the vast majority of demon gods, they don't even have the intention to fight the Storm Empire's idea. Even if there is a large-scale war between the Abyss and the Heaven, many demon gods are unwilling to deal with the Storm Empire. Such a powerful storm empire has a large number of protagonists and villains. Four months have passed, and in the empire of storms, the protagonist and the villain are at an evenly matched level. The villains killed a lot of protagonists and got some gold fingers. But there is still no way to kill some of the core protagonists. The protagonists fight against the villains. Everyone, be careful recently, the capital has been empty recently, don't let the villains seize the opportunity. It's okay. We have brother Quan and brother Fu covering us. Then you have to be careful. 
King Luke has now grasped the real power. If he takes the risk, we are afraid that more than half of us will die. In that group of protagonists, the protagonists in it had a lively discussion. F asterisk K. Why do I feel this rhythm is familiar? At this time, a protagonist said, What rhythm? Someone asked. You have forgotten the countries that were swept by the Earl of the Blackstone land. Especially the Odin Empire, which was also invaded by demons at the beginning, and then the Earl of the Blackstone land passed. The protagonist said. His voice fell. The protagonists were quiet for a while. Many protagonists were a little frightened when they heard the word, Earl of Mo Shi Ling. You are frightening yourself. Can the Odin Empire be compared to the Storm Empire? The Earl of the Blackstone Land will never reach the Storm Empire. That's right. Other small empires generally have at most one gold level protagonist or villain. In the Storm Empire, there are Brother Quan and Brother Fu, as well as a gold level villain. In such a large empire, it is impossible for the Earl of Moshi Land to handle it. Reach out. Soon, the other protagonists refuted the voices of the other protagonists in the group of protagonists. In the eyes of these protagonists, it is impossible for Su Mo to reach out to the Storm Empire. The Storm Empire is too powerful, and it is incomparably far away from the New Moon Kingdom. The stronger the empire, the stronger the god behind it. With such a powerful Storm Empire, these protagonists cannot see the possibility that Su Mo can intervene. That said, I always feel a little uneasy. Me too. Everyone should keep more gods and see if there is anything unusual in the Holy See. Even so, there are not a few uneasy protagonists. Really, the pressure that Sumo brought to them was too great. Almost turned into a bird with a bow. Damn it, if the Storm Empire didn't have King Luke, Brother Quan and Brother Fu might have swept the Empire of Storms and become legendary villains. One of the protagonists complained there. In the Empire of Storms, there are more than one gold level protagonist or villain. Instead, it has two gold level protagonists, there is also a gold level villain. The status of this gold level villain is not low. Not a duke or something, but a king, he is the younger brother of the emperor of the Storm Empire. The protagonists only know that his name is King Luke. The emperor of the Storm Empire is sick all the year round. King Luke seized the opportunity and used four months to seize the power. The two gold level protagonists played a big role, otherwise, King Luke would not have needed four months at all. In fact, King Luke had a chance to kill two gold level protagonists in the first month. But these two gold level protagonists were too cunning, they entered the Holy Sea directly from the beginning and hugged the big tree of the Holy Sea of Storms. King Luke was only a king, in the beginning, and he had many scruples in his actions, and he had to change his strategy. All in all, the four month battle between the two sides was also very exciting. King Luke, this time the devil invades, I always feel something strange. The villain group of Storm Empire is also talking about this matter. I know what you are worrying about, but it's just the Earl of Moishi Land. It doesn't matter, as far as I know, the Earl of Moshi Land can't intervene in the Storm Empire. His seven goddesses of the moon, and the Lord of Storms, are far from the same. Compare. In the villain group, King Luke's voice sounded. King Luke is still quite calm, and now he is about to stand at the core of the power of the Storm Empire. If it weren't for the two gold level protagonists in the Empire of Storms, he would have been able to sweep the Empire of Storms. This time the demon invasion may be an opportunity. King Luke thought. However, although he is not worried, the other villains are very worried. The Blood Witch has already moved, let's start too. When encountering a demon invasion in the Empire of Storms, the other demon gods who returned from the Sea of Chaos also started making big moves. Then, on the same day, more than 20 powerful empires were simultaneously invaded by demons. I'm going, so many empires have encountered demonic invasions, is the war between the abyss and the heavens about to start in full? But don't do this, we haven't grown up yet. Yeah, once it's fully launched, the villains will have too many opportunities. The news that more than 20 empires had encountered demonic invasions soon spread to the forum. Because this time the scope of the demon invasion is too large, and they are all empires also attracted a lot of attention. The attention of this matter even once overwhelmed the fact that the Eastern Emperor publicly provoked the villains. So many empires have been invaded by demons, so it shouldn't be the ghost of the Earl of Moishi. Yeah, I'm relieved, but I have to be careful that the villains take the opportunity to make trouble. I hope this wave is not a war between the abyss and the heaven, otherwise there will be too many opportunities for the villains. In the Empire of Storms, some of the protagonists who were a little worried at first, let go of their hearts one after another. 
Demon invasion? Oh, it's a good opportunity. This large-scale invasion of demons also made the villains in the empires invaded by demons come to their senses one by one. All ready to take the opportunity to deal with some protagonists. At this time, there is a demon invasion. Yi Chen, the live broadcast continues, I can't let those guys steal my limelight, I want to stimulate these villains. On the wilderness continent, the legendary protagonist Dondi still asked the protagonist of the live stream to help him live stream. This guy is still provoking the villain every day. In the past few days, some villains have been testing, but no villains have officially taken action. These villains are more cautious. In addition, it takes time for some villains to get to where he is. However, there are already many tempted villains. After all, this is a legendary protagonist. Once you get rid of the opponent, you can get a lot of villain value. They, too, can have a legendary gold finger. Give a villain a legendary gold finger, and the villain will grow faster. Moreover, there is no big power behind the Eastern Emperor, unlike some protagonists or villains in the kingdoms and empires. Can make them shy. To deal with the East Emperor, as long as the strength is strong enough, it is enough to push it directly. So, these days, it seems calm, but secretly, a large number of villains have acted. Even the villain, Brother Mo, who had just risen to the legendary level, also sent assassins to try it out. Therefore, on the protagonist and villain forums, the news of the past few days has been occupied by more than 20 empires that have been invaded by demons, as well as the live broadcast of the Eastern Emperor. Since Su Mo has been quiet for a while, there are not many people discussing it for the time being. Although these empires moved fast, they were fully prepared due to this wave of demon gods. Soon, in these twenty or so empires, the invasion of demons intensified. Lord of the Storm, the revenge of this wave of demon gods is a bit powerful. Although our people resist with all their strength, I am afraid that they will be able to come in person after a while. If we are not there, our country may have some danger. In the Sea of Chaos, the voice of Allah Powerhouse sounded. After they drove the demon gods out of the Sea of Chaos, they monopolized the Sea of Chaos. However, before exploring a large area, those demon gods began to take revenge. If they leave the Sea of Chaos now, I am afraid they will fall into the tricks of the devils. But if they don't leave, if those law level demon gods come to their kingdom, if they don't come in person, even if they ask for help, they won't be able to stop them. For a time, these law powerhouses have some headaches. There was no emotion on the Lord of Storm's face, but she actually had some concerns. She didn't need to guess at all, she knew that the one who attacked her country was definitely the Blood Witch. The Blood Witch is too difficult to deal with. In the world of the gods, she can also exert her ultimate combat power, and even a certain period of unrestricted combat power. The gods under her command can't deal with it. Let Mo go. At this time, the Dark Moon Goddess spoke up. Ink? The Lord of the Storm looked at her. The Dark Moon Goddess nodded. Mo should be able to handle it. As long as you pay some divine stones or non-attribute divine power, I can ask Mo to do it. Hearing the words of the Dark Moon Goddess, the other law powerhouses all moved. The Lord of the Storm thought of Sumo. Although I'm not sure if Sumo can deal with the Blood Witch, but obviously he's tempted to attack. It's absolutely fine to let Mo Xiaoyu take action. Mo Xiaoyu has a lot of experience in dealing with demons. After my empire invited Mo Xiaoyu to take action, the demon god's chess pieces were almost cleaned up. This time, no demon god can go. At this time, the voice of Star Lord Odin sounded. This time, the Odin Empire of Star Lord Odin did not encounter a demon invasion. The main reason is that last time, Su Mo did help him remove a large number of pieces from the demon god. At the same time, when the demon gods allocated the empire, Su Mo also mentioned it, so that the demon gods subconsciously avoided the Odin Empire. With the appearance of the Odin Star Lord, the other law powerhouses are more moved one by one. Goddess of the Dark Moon, Please help to contact Mo Xiaoyu, I want to ask him to take action, the reward is easy to say. Immediately, a law powerhouse spoke up. I also want to ask Mo Xiaoyu to help. Another law powerhouse also hurriedly said. These law powerhouses are unwilling to leave the Sea of Chaos. They are now deep into the Sea of Chaos, it takes time to leave and come back again. If they are unwilling to leave, at a critical time, they can also invite other law powerhouses who have not entered the Sea of Chaos to take action. But not everyone can get it. Moreover, if you invite other law powerhouses to take action, the price will be too great. What you pay for is not a little bit. Please sumo shot, do not know how much cost effective. Plus, who knows how long these demons will be tossing around this time around. 
If Su Mo can help them solve this problem completely, obviously, asking Su Mo is the best choice. So, soon, many law powerhouses surrounded the Dark Moon Goddess one by one. The Lord of the Storm was also moved. See these law powerhouses speak. The Dark Moon Goddess took out the Divine Sound Stone. You can talk to Mo yourself, the Dark Moon Goddess said. She used divine power to activate the Divine Sound Stone. Seeing this, many law powerhouses saw a ray of divine sense thrown into the Divine Sound Stone. In the space of the Divine Sound Stone, the divine thoughts of the law powerhouses appeared one after another. The other side, Su Mo also felt the change of the Divine Soundstone and put a ray of spiritual power into it. As soon as he entered, Su Mo saw more than 20 law powerhouses. The Lord of the Storm is also here. Little friend Mo, we meet again. Star Lord Odin came up first. Other law powerhouses also joined up one by one. Mo, they want to ask you to take action. The Goddess of the Dark Moon told the purpose of these law powerhouses. The law powerhouses looked at Su Mo one by one. There is some enthusiasm in each of their eyes. Little friend Mo, I can give you a hundred drops of law level non attribute divine power as a reward. If you need a lower level, I can also help you condense it. A law strong is very direct, Dao. This is pure divine power condensed with divine stones, but because he is a law powerhouse, the condensed divine power level is also quite high. Such a drop of divine power is equivalent to dozens of drops of upper level divine power and it is also equivalent to several thousand drops of median divine power. So, don't look at him only taking out a hundred drops of divine power. But the value of these one hundred drops of divine power is very high. The higher the level of divine power, the more terrifying the energy contained in it. Condensing such divine power requires more faith. Su Mo's current mid-level light and dark supernatural power, if only divided by the level of supernatural power, is only equivalent to the level of the upper peak supernatural power. However, the power of light and darkness at the top level of the peak level, so that Su Mo's combat power is comparable to a very powerful law powerhouse. This is the terrible thing about the power of light and darkness. How can a hundred drops be enough? Mo Xiaoyu, this is two hundred drops of law level non attribute divine power. Another law powerhouse also spoke, Star Lord exiting, are you? The powerhouses of the previous law were dissatisfied, is this demolishing their own platform? Little friend Mo, you and I have hit it off. These 500 drops of law level non attribute divine power should be regarded as the reward for asking you to take action this time. The voice of the previous law powerhouse fell, and another more ruthless came. Directly gave Su Mo drops of non attribute divine power. This law powerhouse is on good terms with the Odin Star Lord. Star Lord Odin is very optimistic about Su Mo. So, his idea is that this time, he asks Su Mo to make a move, and he also happened to befriend Su Mo. In case Su Mo returns to the heaven and rises strongly and becomes a giant in the future, the good impression left today may be able to play a big role in the future. The law is strong, indeed strong. It can be said to be the god at the top of the pyramid. But definitely not at the top of the pyramid. Little friend Inc., another law powerhouse spoke up. The involution of these law powerhouses still played a role. The law powerhouses have mentioned their rewards to 500 drops of law level non attribute divine power. Soon, many law powerhouses were finished. All of them looked at Su Mo eagerly. With the love of your seniors, Mo can give it a try. Su Mo didn't delay, Dao. You don't need to be polite, Mo Xiaoyu. We will give the reward to the Dark Moon Goddess first, and then the Dark Moon Goddess will hand it over to you. The law strong said. Other law powerhouses have echoed and approved this plan. Then. This matter is settled. The law powerhouses handed over all their divine power to the dark moon goddess. Twenty law powerhouses have given ten thousand drops of non-attribute divine power. These divine powers are all law level divine powers. The value of these divine powers combined is many times greater than the accumulation of countless years of a high ranking god. This wave, for Su Mo, can be said to be a big profit. Even if he won the Stu Empire, it would be too slow to accumulate power with the country. The kingdom is necessary, and it takes a long time to accumulate. Gaining strength in a short period of time is not difficult. So this wave of Su Mo is simply making money. With so many law level non attribute powers, Su Mo can condense a lot of light and dark powers. And. He can also condense the light and dark power of the law level. It is equivalent to the division of Su Mo, the advanced light and dark power. After successfully condensing, Su Mo's combat power will rise to a new level. Inc. 
At this time, the Lord of the Storm also spoke. Her title for Su Mo changed from the Sun of the New Moon to Mo, the same as the Goddess of the Dark Moon. If the Goddess needs, I can go to the Empire of Storms. The last time the Goddess gave me the gift value is enough, this time, let me take a shot for the Goddess. The Lord of the Storm only spoke, and Su Mo took the first step before he could express his request. Seeing Su Mo's initiative, the Lord of the Storm has a better look and feel for Su Mo. As long as the Blood Sorceress doesn't come, my Storm Empire can still withstand some time, you can help them first. Lord of the Storm, it is good, Su Mo said. As for the reward, it's also necessary, I heard Dark Moon say that you were going to shape the Divine Body recently, this thing may be useful to you. The Lord of the Storm threw a space bag. Su Mo took a look and found a white fruit inside. Inside this fruit, there is a strong breath of life. Of course, this is not true, just an image. This is. Dot the fruit of life. Su Mo recognized the fruit. The Lord of the Storm said, Yes, this is the fruit of life I bought from the Goddess of Life. This one is a thousand years old and can make your divine body even stronger. Su Mo looked at the Lord of the Storm and said, Goddess, this fruit of life is too precious, I cannot accept it. The Lord of the Storm showed a smile. It's okay, this kind of fruit is nothing to me. I gave the fruit to Dark Moon. On the Storm Empire's side, just let me know when you pass by. Seeing the Lord of the Storm say this, Su Mo can't say anything else. This matter is settled. After Su Mo discussed the details with many law powerhouses, he soon came up with a plan. Then let's start with the Hidden Empire, Su Mo said. The hidden empire, the closest to the crescent moon kingdom. This way you can swipe all the way through. This wave, divine power earned a lot. Next, it's just to earn the villain's value. After the communication with the law powerhouses is over, Su Mo wasted no time, immediately set off. In this wave of demon invasion, the way the demon gods play is naturally different from the ordinary demon gods before. After all, what is going to be attacked is the kingdom of strong law. They are the law powerhouses who are ready to discuss the heavens, so that they can breathe out a bad breath. Su Mo knows all about the plans of the demons. Then, just half a day later, Su Mo appeared in the Hidden Empire. Damn it! The Earl of Moshi Land! Why did he come to the Hidden Empire again? The protagonists in the Hidden Empire panicked instantly. Then, into the familiar rhythm of these protagonists. Ah, ah! Why did the Earl of the Blackstone Land directly control the Holy See? F asterisk CK, I'm going to be a gold level villain right now. The protagonists and villains in the Hitting Empire are desperate. After getting the law powerhouse behind the Hitting Empire, these protagonists and villains have no room for resistance. In just half a day, the protagonist and villain in the capital of the Exiting Empire were cleared by Sumo. I guessed it right, the Earl of Moishi Land really appeared. Mommy Duck, everyone, run away, I'll go. How did he extend his hand in the Hitting Empire? Listen to my advice, the protagonists of these empires that are invaded by demons, run away, it will be too late. Impossible. With so many empires, if the Earl of the Blackstone Land can reach out, we'll be playing a fart. On the protagonist and villain forum, when the protagonist and villain in the Hitting Empire complained a lot. This matter quickly aroused heated discussion. The popularity of the topic directly rushed to the first place. Dongdi's live broadcast room was directly robbed of the limelight. After sweeping away the protagonists and villains in the capital of exiting with thunder, Su Mo did not waste time. He directly attacked the demons who attacked the capital of hitting. This time, the strategy adopted by the demons was a large number of open cards and a small amount of hidden cards. The bright card is the place where the devil rushes out directly. The dark card is the place where the devil descends. The coming of the law level demon god is more difficult and requires more preparation. Su Mo just needs to draw their hidden cards in one fell swoop and they will go out. Boom, in the hidden empire, a very secret place. The attacks of many angels fell. Below, a huge magic circle hidden there was also destroyed. Wow, damn it, how did they find out? In the magic circle, the demons who are holding the summoning ceremony are stunned. These demons were killed by the angels before they could react. This summoning circle, which took a lot of time to prepare, was also destroyed. Damn it! At the same time that this magic circle was destroyed. In the abyss, there was a roar of a law level demon god. It is more difficult for the law level demon gods to descend directly to the continent of the gods. Especially when it comes to a country with strong laws. But it is not impossible, it just takes a lot of time to prepare. 
This time, this law-level demon god first sent a large number of demons to attack the Hidden Empire from all directions. In order to disturb the attention of the Hidden Empire. Then, take the opportunity to prepare a large-scale summoning ceremony so that the devil can come. The Hidden Empire itself is still quite powerful. As long as there is no demon god coming, the Hidden Empire is still in a very strong state as a whole. After all, it is a country with strong laws, stronger than normal kingdoms. Although Star Lord Hitting is in the Sea of Chaos, he cannot come. But his angels were able to descend. A large number of demigod level angels, plus an angel who can exert the initial combat power of false gods, is enough to deal with ordinary demon invasions. The problem is that once the demons come in person, especially the law level demons, angels can't handle it. These law level demon gods are often not alone. Their subordinates, more or less, also have some ordinary demon gods. For example, the horned shield demon god of resentment, don't look at this guy being mistreated by Sumo, this guy's reputation in the abyss is not low. After all, he is a congenital devil, it is also followed by a small number of ordinary demon gods. Therefore, once these law level demon gods come, they will not be one, but a group. However, now, in the Hitting Empire, the large scale summoning ceremony of the law level demon gods that attacked the Hitting Empire was directly discovered and interrupted by Sumo in advance. But this demon is so angry. This demon god doesn't even understand how its methods are so concealed. How did the other party discover it? It naturally did not expect that when they discussed the invasion plan with the Blood Witch, Sumo knew their plan well. So, soon, under the leadership of Sumo, the angels of Star Lord Hitting invaded the demons in the Hitting Empire and wiped them out in their infancy. After the summoning ceremony was interrupted, the demon passages in other places were also quickly removed. The entire Hitting Empire was quickly pacified from this. Such a fast speed also makes the Lord exiting in the Sea of Chaos smile. It is naturally the best to be able to destroy the invasion of these demon gods at an early stage. Otherwise, once it spreads, it will be difficult to deal with. The loss of the entire empire would be greater. It is not known how many people will be killed, nor how many people will be infected by demons. It will also have a huge impact on people's beliefs. At that time, even if it is settled down, there will be a lot of hidden dangers left in the empire. Afterwards, it takes a lot of manpower and material resources just to clear the people infected by demons. Look, I said that Mo Xiaoyu has a good hand against demons. Star Lord Odin ran out to stand for Su Mo again. Seeing that Su Mo is so powerful, all the other law powerhouses feel that their magic power is worth it. After getting the Hidden Empire, Su Mo didn't stop in the Hidden Empire, and hurried to the next empire. This is the empire of the Heme Star Lord, the Heme Empire. Heme Star Master is also a strong female law. In the Sea of Chaos these days, the relationship between the Lord of Heme and the Goddess of the Dark Moon seems to have been good. Not long after, Su Mo appeared in the Heme Empire through the ultra long distance space gate in the Hitting Empire. What, the Ink Stone possession has appeared in the Heme Empire again? No way, he extended his hand to the Heme Empire again? My god, how did he do it? It's over, it's over. The protagonist and villain in the Heme Empire are going to have a lot of bad luck again. On the protagonist and villain forum, this matter has once again become the hottest topic. It wasn't long before Su Mo arrived in the Hitting Empire, but suddenly he appeared in the Heme Empire. In the Heme Empire, the protagonists and villains who didn't have time to react were given to one pot. This frightened many protagonists and villains. You said, will the empire invaded by demons this time be swept away by the Earl of the Blackstone Land? I feel like it's possible. Gone. I have finally become the holy son of the Okayama Empire, is it possible for me to give up? On the forum, this matter has caused a large-scale discussion. Su Mo has managed to get the protagonist and villain of the two empires in a row, which has caused a wide range of panic on the forum. In particular, the protagonists and villains of the empire that was invaded by demons this time. These protagonists and villains had some concerns. But seeing that so many empires have been invaded by demons, plus they always feel that Sumo's hand can't reach so long. One by one, they were still relieved. But now, Sumo has secured two empires one after another. This makes these protagonists and villains lose their minds one by one. Some of the protagonists and villains in other empires are a little bit trying to escape. However, people are all lucky. That is, if you don't get to the Yellow River, you won't give up. Some of the protagonists who were hiding in the first place were fine. 
Some protagonists who have established a firm foothold in the empire are very reluctant to take their current position. Their growth route is also related to their gold finger. Their growth also slows after giving up their hard-earned status. Therefore, it is often that, until the last moment, many protagonists are unwilling to escape. If you really run away, you may not be able to escape. After all, the villains won't give up the chance to deal with them either. Let's go. I always feel unsafe. I don't feel safe, too. Tomorrow we will send some people to talk to the villains. These villains are staring at us all day long, and when the Earl of Moshiland comes over, they will be finished. These villains are really stupid, alas, the time is too short, wait a few more months, for me, the sky is high and the birds fly. In an empire that is quite close to the Heme Empire, the protagonists in it are all worried there. These protagonists are also frightened these two days. Want to go, but some reluctance. At the same time, they are also worried that the villains in the empire will take action on them. Under the discussion of these protagonists, this night, they finally got on the line with the villains. Reached an agreement. Obviously, those villains were also a little scared. Their empire is not too far from the Heme Empire. Through the ultra long distance space gate, it can be reached very quickly. These villains, one by one, are also ready to flee. But, they have only just come to an agreement. In the capital, the protagonist shouted, Barbie is Q. The Earl of Moshi Land is here. The protagonist and the villains who had just reached an agreement suddenly looked at each other one by one. The third one. Look, I've made it right. Wherever there are demons, there is the Earl of Moishi Land, I always feel. Does the Earl of Moshi Land have any means to communicate with the devil? Yeah. Every time the Earl of the Black Stone Territory is taking advantage of the devil's invasion to do things. Not necessarily, I feel that there is something special about the Earl of the Black Stone Territory. He was favored by the gods of the heavens. You can see that he not only dealt with the protagonist and the villain, but also pacified the demons in those empires. Don't the protagonists in other empires run away? It's over, I can't run anymore, the capital has been sealed, I knew I was with the Temple Knights. How so? On the forum, as Su Mo won the Third Empire, it has been completely lively. Panic is spreading rapidly. All the protagonists and villains in the demon invasion of the empire are all uneasy. Have lost their sense of security, it seemed that Su Mo could come over anytime. Some of the protagonists and villains in these empires are ready to flee. However, their movements were still too slow. Because, when they wanted to escape, they quickly found out. The capitals of these empires have restricted access. It became very difficult to get out. These empires, in the past two days, have already transferred all the people who need to be dispatched to deal with the demons. The protagonists in it, because they were worried about going out and being plotted by the villains, tried their best to stay in the royal capital. The villains also basically stayed in the capital. They didn't go before, now, if you want to go, you can't go away. I told you to run a long time ago, now it's okay. The hand of the Earl of the Blackstone Land is stretched out so long, what should we do with this FCK? I found a rule, as long as there is a demon in the future, we will run as soon as possible, lie down. It's over. On the forum, the protagonists and villains are also complaining. The protagonists and villains who were sealed in the capital are all desperate. Just like pigs about to be slaughtered, one by one knows their own destiny but there is nothing they can do.